Well, like I said, I'd post an update of what I was talking about in the next few days. Well, here I am. Next few days later. Birds up in the trees are just a chit chatting in a way. Ah, oh, well, you look at that. Wow. I hadn't looked up and seen the trees in a little bit of time. Especially these two. Well, these three. They were looking better. But man, the pecan tree. Wow. See all the birds up in there going crazy and whatnot. Pecan should be falling anytime soon now. It's hard to believe that tree is a, over a hundred years old. But, uh, I said in the last video I'd give you guys an update on uh, everything. And I gave you kind of a brief update that was 30 minutes long. I didn't want it to be that long. This video is not going to be 30 minutes long, 10 to 15, like I said. But uh, I'll give you guys an update what's going on with the yard here while I do some things. So this thing and that little chicken coop thing, those were for turkeys. They had that back during the 70s, 80s. They grew turkeys here, not like, you know, they were mass produced or anything. You know, they had turkeys like they would have for like family events, you know, holidays like Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas and whatnot, you know. Along with the chickens they had. But, uh, yeah, so I've been busy working and moving things around. I just finished this little area right here, you know, clearing around the tree, the, the walnut tree. This tree is about 80 years old. But there's a lot, still a lot of junk around here that I gotta clean up. I'd like to uh, eventually have all my feed and stuff because these are the barrels I store my feed in. I have chicken feed back there. These two barrels, well, I should say three. These three barrels are for uh, uh, feed for the, for the livestock, for the sheep and the goats and stuff. But uh, the yard here. I'd like to get all this cleaned up, and right here I'd like to put a, uh, either build like a small little shed, you know, probably like a, oh, I don't know, an 8x10 or a 10x12, something around there. Uh, be able to store, put that, put them barrels and stuff in there, get rid of all that junk right there, make it look nice. Either that, or I'll build a big giant barn here, uh, back here, right here, right there used to be, um, the, uh, the workshop, as you would say, uh, they would make their own lumber and stuff, and uh, they would they would have all their tools in this building right here that used to be here. They had their tools and everything. Uh, it was basically almost like a lean-to kind of, but uh, the the walls come right here. And there was a big giant window on this side right here, and they would have the tractor on this side, and it would basically, you know, power this, uh, the circular saw and it would cut firewood and, you know, anything that needed to be cut. So it's basically like a chop saw, if you would think of it today. So, very easy. But, uh, yeah. So there's a lot of stuff here, you know, that's left over. Here's the, some of the roof. You know, some of the stuff was actually hauled away. They had small little barrels, as you can see there. Is that a bow? That is a bow. Hold on, let me see that. I've never seen this here before. I don't want to break it. Nice little standard bow here. I'll have to dig that out. I'm done with this video, but head barrels here with, as you can see, old nails and stuff. And building stuff, but yeah, it was uh, it's a pretty good building. Uh, you know, most of these buildings were built out of pallets. And you'll be like, what? Built out of pallets? What do you mean? Well, they weren't the richest people in the world. Uh, buildings that were built out of pallets were built back during the 60s and 70s. So, that little thing right there, I want to fix that. And uh, I want to get rid of all that crap over there. We'll walk over there. But, uh, God dang it. Get out! Ow! 
Come here. Get out. Freaking cats, I swear to God. Every time I look, they're always doing something. But anyway, right here in the backyard here of the house, I like to take all this crap out of here and get rid of it. I gotta finish that shed, that little portable shed. It's supposed to be portable. There, I pick it up with a tractor, move it around. But uh, I gotta get rid of all this crap here. I wanna get rid of all that. That was where he had his tools and stuff, you know. It was kind of like a little, you know, workshop kind of area. He'd work out of here, pull the tractor in the backyard here and work on it. But I wanna get rid of all this crap here. I wanna rebuild that. There used to be an outhouse over there. I might rebuild it, I don't know. Aesthetic look. But, uh, yeah, he got all this crap, you know, from auctions and stuff, and the only reason he got it was so he can just put junk in it, you know. He'd buy junk and he'd be like, oh, I need somewhere to store it, so he'd buy these things, like, I'll store the junk inside of other junk. No. Nah. Seems uh, seems like he just put everything in here, you know, I don't know. But uh, back during the early 2000s, the county here, they actually issued a thing. And 15% uh, battery left, oh, I didn't know that. But uh, back during the early 2000s or so, the county issued a, uh, uh, a limit to the size of a building you can use, you can have. Uh, before you start paying taxes on it, like, uh, if you had a trailer and you were living in it, you didn't have to pay taxes on it, because it counted as living quarters. But if you're using it as storage, or if it was vacant, then you have to pay taxes on it. Well, that's where that front piece right there, back behind the house, come from, and that's where that piece come from. And back here, you used to have the trailer. And you gotta think, if they never would have done that, that the backyard would have been pretty much empty. There would have been hardly anything probably in the backyard, you know. But they had to go do some freaking bull crap like that. Because, you know, the government, they always love money. And when they look at an opportunity where they can get more money, they're going to try to get more money. That's just how the government is. Sneaky bastards, too. So... And don't give me some crap like I'm a conspiracy theorist. No, this is the facts. Government tried to get anything they can out of you. You know? But, uh, they did that. And so, you know, they didn't even enforce it here. Until some guy down the road started uh, moaning and complaining about it. And they come here and was like, you know, you gotta do something about that. We're gonna tax you. And he was pissed. So he went out here with the tractor and just rammed the tractor into it, took his uh, chainsaw and cut it all up. So, yeah. This is what's, this is the other half of it. But you can see the chickens having fun up there, but I gotta take all this crap, but I, I wanna get rid of all this crap here. Um, the smokehouse here, it's kinda falling in. You guys already seen that. Um, I don't know, I might rebuild it. I wanna rebuild it kinda, but I don't know. Might never get to it. But uh, here's the back of the warehouse. They used to have a lean-to on here. and um, I'm not too sure. I don't know if they had the horses here or not. They had the horses somewhere. They stopped using the horses up until the late 70s, 80s, somewhere around there. So, because they had the horses and they had the tractors. And, uh... They would use the, the horses to go down the rows uh, with a sled, and they would have they would put the tobacco because these are all tobacco fields at the time. They would put the tobacco on the sled, and they would get it up there, and, and then they would use the tractor to haul it to uh, over here. And then later they sold the horses and and whatnot, and they bought uh, trailers and stuff. So, but they by the time they did that, it was pretty much all over tobacco anyway. The industry kind of fell through and they weren't making much money for the small farmers. So they kind of gave up on that and switched to soybeans and, and crops. So, but the warehouse here is the most modern building built out of timbers. Uh, the timber flooring 
there's a timber flooring, and then the siding, the walls and stuff are all made out of uh, pallets. If we'll go in here, I can show you a little better. So, here's the inside, and no, you're not supposed to come in through this side. Uh, you're not supposed to come in through this side anyway. But you can see the inside here, that's all pallet wood and everything. Really nice. Has windows here. So, seem kind of modern. That's all rough lumber. You know, like I said, they uh, they basically made their own lumber, or they went to the sawmill and, and took trees and exchanged them for a profit or you know, lumber. You know, a lot, a lot of stuff just slammed in here. It's kind of the reason why it's falling down. A lot of good stuff. All the cabinets there, they got, they were, uh, my great uncle originally bought them to put them in the house and redo the kitchen and everything. He never got to it. So, but yeah, pallets, they're pretty good, but the thing about pallets is they don't last very long. But as you can see, these are the flooring and the joist and everything. And here's some of the pieces that I was talking about when they made their lumber and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm not standing on that too long. I got 5% left for some freaking reason. Not really too sure. Go on somewhere, cat. I could try to hurry up in the video here. out some corn there chickens will love that chicken coop can't even tell what percent the phone's on still five percent all right but yeah here's the old uh building this apparently used to the back part i think was the chicken coop but they had the kind of the chicken house in there got turned into a kind of attack room too they put the stuff for the horses and all in here is all the stuff they had for the horses when they were using it. They stopped. The farmel was right there. It's now right there. But uh, this is the latest project I've been working on. And uh, I got 3% left. Gonna hurry it up here. But uh, this building here, I got a. I had the roof raised up and I had a board in there. But it fell. And. Uh, it's not doing too good, as you can see. But uh, I gotta raise it up again and fix it. And plan is to put si put some metal siding on it and bring it, extend the building basically all the way out to here, and kind of have like a workshop. I want to build a workshop on there. I can't even see my phone. Two percent left. All right, we're gonna hurry up and end this. But uh. This side here, the chicken coop and stuff, I just went ahead and cleared all that crap out, put it over there. Um, the plan off this area is, I wanna get rid of that chicken coop. That chicken coop's been here for like over 20 some years. He built it just to build it, you know, temporary building or something, you know, something for them to lay eggs in. But uh, I wanna build a chicken house here. And uh, I don't know when I get to that, but uh, I got 1% left. My phone's probably gonna die anytime soon. But uh, I like to thank you guys for watching. You know, I'm gonna give you guys some more updates when I clear up some more stuff. But uh, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.